everyone, it's Johnny Z with another episode of Z Tech News. And today on episode 13, we're going to be talking about, yes, we're going to be talking about um, gaming monitors and what you need to know and what you need to buy and what to look for and the different price ranges. But before we do that, we're going to talk about a little bit about the news. People who are out there looking for, <coughs> excuse me, RTX. Uh, 2080 Ti, the latest, hottest, and greatest card that is available out there. Uh, guess what? None of them are available. Nobody seems to be able to get them. Uh, the company that I work for, we're still waiting. It seems like there's some sort of backlog uh, somewhere in Taiwan. Um, they're trying to get the shipments out. Still nothing. Also, the uh, RTX 2080s, we have a few in. Uh, it seems like nobody wants to buy them. Everybody is picking up the 1080 Ti's like they're nothing. So it goes to prove that the, the cheaper uh, the cheaper 1080 Ti's versus the RTX 2080 and the 1080 Ti's being, you know, that much better. Everybody's jumping on them. Uh, so we keep on running out of stock on them. And as soon as they go on sale, people are, are snapping them up. But we have a lots of our, our RTX 2080's. They're just going to sit there. It's unfortunate, but I mean, that's how it is. People know what's good. They know what the benchmarks are. So that's the main thing, right? Once you see benchmarks and you understand what's really going on, then you can make uh, a, not an educated, well, yeah, an educated uh, buy on, on those items. Um, we had, uh, for the company we had, we had pre-orders for the RTX and the RTX TIs, but when you do a pre-order, you don't know what you want to get, right? You don't know what's good. You don't know if it's been tested, this has been tested on this type of system, what have you. And that's the most important thing in the when you're trying to uh, you know, make a build for, for yourself, that you want to make sure that you get the right item at the right price. And it's a good thing, right? So the pre-order was kind of stupid. Nobody jumped on it. Well, nobody at the store that I worked at, uh, nobody ordered did, did any pre-orders for that stuff. But now they're calling up for the 2080 Ti's and it's like, sorry, we got none, we got none, we got none, we got none. All our stores don't have any, so it's unfortunate. Um, any, uh, what else uh, uh, in the news? Uh, the uh, AMD is coming out with the RX 680 and the 670. The 670 is going to be coming out uh, first and then the 680. Uh, once again, AMD is going for the mid-level uh, budget-minded people and uh, so if you got a 1080 uh, uh, 1080 monitor and you just want to run high frame rates and run them at uh, either ultra or max settings uh, that's the card to go and they're going to be cheap uh, probably below the GTX 1060 so you know just keep keep your eyes on that uh, again but let's wait till the benchmarks come out and some of the better known websites get a hand, uh, their hands on them and test them and then we can see what's good what's a good value see the whole that's the whole thing that's like and i keep on telling that everybody at the computers or if you got the money to blow on the highest end stuff go nuts absolutely go nuts but if you want to get the best bang for your buck or the value out of the item there's a lot of stuff so right now those rx uh even the 580s and the uh, and the 570s are priced way below than the 1060s and do just as good they trade punches back and forth on uh on benchmark so you know you can't go wrong with an amd card in that sense and the same thing supposedly the new cards are going to be 15 percent faster so there's something to check out anyways let's get oh hey yeah by the way did you guys check this out do 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 msi jacket our company had what did we have? Uh, a vendor training uh, session where we got to see a lot of cool new stuff. I can't say everything that I saw there because our company is under NDA and I can't open up my mouth. So please be aware of that. <clears throat> but I was lucky enough to win this MSI jacket. Actually nice and warm and comfy. Um, and um, yeah, all I had to do was, you know, I. They gave us some uh, some cards and stuff, like, or tickets and stuff, and uh, I answered a couple of questions. They tested on us what we learned and what have you, and I was lucky enough to get this thing. Oh, and I got, 
and I got uh, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX uh, sweater, <clears throat> which was a size small. So I gave that to my daughter and she was really happy about that. So yeah, it was cool. We got to learn about some new stuff. <clears throat> and uh, we were able to uh, uh, not only learn about the new stuff, but also see what's coming out and where different items are based on different, like, you know, MSI is coming out with sort of workstation laptops that are more geared towards business people. So you're not picking out, you know, a gaming laptop <clears throat> with all the flashiness and what have you. So that's something to uh, to consider. So it was kind of kind of interesting to learn some stuff there. <clears throat> so we before oh yeah so that's about it yeah so MSI jacket cool I enjoyed it oh yeah what I wanted to say is moving forward moving forward once uh, we I start getting a lot more stuff or winning stuff or companies start giving us stuff and if it's half decent um, anyway I needed it a new fall jacket so that's why I'm holding on to this but. Next time, what I'm going to do is uh, give stuff away. So if I get extra jackets or sweaters or little knickknacks that, you know, that I think will be cool, I'll be having holding little contests here, like little giveaways. <clears throat> and, you know, you guys can uh, sort of get, get into the fun that I'm, you know, the stuff that I'm getting and, and get some stuff too. The, that would be, I think, a lot of fun. So... <clears throat> Let's see, what were you going to talk about today? Okay, monitors. Now, if you're planning on gaming, and gaming quite a bit, uh, the one thing you have to understand is getting a good gaming monitor will make the experience that much better. Now, hear what I'm going to say. Getting a standard $100 to <clears throat> $120 monitor with five millisecond um, you know gray to gray is good for running excel spreadsheets or running a presentation or whatever if you're doing office work they're fine for that but they're not so great at gaming a 60 hertz monitor at 1080p at five milliseconds is going to be very stuttery and jerky when you're playing a game when you're actually you know you know, WASD and the mouse, and you move you move your FPS character around. You're going to get a lot of stuttering and jitter. Um, now, there's some games, <clears throat> actually a lot of games. <clears throat> frog in my throat. Um, a lot of games are uh, <clears throat> what what they have is you can limit the the, uh, the frame rate. So. For instance, some of the games that I play, you can go in and say, listen, my monitor can only do 60 frames per second, which is a 60 hertz monitor. So whatever hertz is the monitor is usually what the frame rate it's going to do. I mean, you can run more. You can set your, your you know, the, the video card settings to unlimited. But the point is, when once it jumps up to higher FPSs or lower FPSs, you're going to get jitter and stuttering going on in the screen. And that's not... That stuff will give you a headache eventually, but it's not a smooth, you know, viewing experience or playing experience. It sort of takes you out of the game. So, limiting it to 60 hertz or 60 frames per second will give you a better, um, uh, give you a better, not result, but the way it's going to look. Like it's 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 going to be less jittery. It still will be, but it will be less now when you go up to other gaming monitors that will do 75 hertz some of the some of the lower end gaming monitors will do 75 hertz so again if you go up and set it up to 75 hertz or 75 frames per second again the experience will be pretty good but not as good as you would like it especially if you're running a really good hot graphics card that you know it will do better but the thing is a mo just getting a hot graphics card is the one part of it remember that both the monitor and the graphics card have to be together they in a sense that you know you're not going to put a, cal a a carburetor on a fuel injector car right you got to put it apple to apples so by getting a hot card and a good gaming monitor will be the best gaming experience but now don't fret don't think you're gonna you know you have to spend over a thousand dollars to uh, to get a good ma uh, gaming monitor, you can go as low as two ninety nine. Uh, okay, let's just say three hundred bucks. 
So at 300 bucks, good gaming monitors start at that point, okay? Now, when I say good gaming monitors, you want one millisecond from gray to gray, low input lag, obviously, because if you're moving around, when you move that mouse and shoot that guy, you want to be right there. It has to react as quickly as you react. So gaming monitors have that built in. Second of all, uh, you want the monitor to do 144 hertz. So in other words, <clears throat> deal with 144 frames per second. So now, with to give you an example here, with the RX 570 that I have, a 4 gigabyte, running the game uh, War Thunder, uh, the game starts off at 144, but really it drops down to 120. So, but with that fall, it doesn't matter because the, the monitor will keep up at a higher frame rate and keep it stable as possible. So every time, so what it does is when the monitor sends a frame to the, when the card sends a frame to the monitor, it sets it up so, you know, you can see it at a higher, uh, well, let's just say this way. The hundred, so at 120, so it's 100, sending 120 frames per second to the monitor, okay? So keeping it up at, at that level will do less stuttering. So the thing is, when you have a 60 hertz monitor and you're running a hot graphics card and it's doing 200 frames per second, you're, you're, it's going to be jumping up and down and you're not going to get the solid uh, image on the screen. Okay? So by look by, 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 by putting up 144 hertz monitor, it, and especially if you got a really hot graphics card, it will lock it at 144, or if your graphics card isn't that hot, it will lock it at a certain uh, uh, frame rate and keep it there as much as it can. So the both are talking to each other. So when, when one frame gets so sent over to the uh, the monitor, the monitor will lock it. The other one comes in, it will lock the other one, and so on. It will just keep on going to give you a smooth, stutter-free image. And that's the thing. And here's a good example. Uh, there's a UFO test. If you... Google UFO monitor test. There's this there's uh, there's this uh, video, or actually it's a little animation. And what it has, it has. When well, I'll I'll do it here. So there's three UFOs and three different uh, refresh rates. So the lowest one will be 60 frames per second. The next one will be like 72 or something. And then the top one will be 144. And all it is is a comic book UFO going back and forth on the screen, just like like this. And if you look at the 60 hertz frame per second, the UFO has four yellow lights around around the middle of it. On the on the 60 frames per second, it's blurred and jittery going across the screen. Okay, the 70 the 75 hertz, it's a little bit better, but it's still jittery. The 144 is perfect. You can see the four yellow lights across just move like this, just very smooth. So right then and there, that shows to you. And and the thing is, if you go to a good uh, uh, computer store, they will show you this. Just you know, just say, "Can I see the UFO uh, demo on the 144 monitor?" And just look for yourself to see how good this is. And that and that will convince you right away. And also, if there's like a little gaming station like we have at our at our store, we can show you a game at 60 frames per second, then one at 144. 144 stuttering and jitter gone completely gone very smooth experience you move your mouse up and down left right, left and right and it's perfect now <clears throat> the next thing that's important here to talk about um free sync and g-sync okay or the visa uh, standard adaptive sync <clears throat> what this does so once you hit the 144 hertz and you got all that done if you move your monitor if you move your the screen like you know your fps and you're moving back and forth left and right looking at things with these type of monitors what you uh, what you don't get is tearing so what happens is here's an image right there's an image of a person like this okay i gotta see two um so what happens is that image of the person gets tear it gets torn if the <laughs> tear that gets torn like that. So if it goes, it goes like this type of thing. So if you move it around really quickly, you see all kinds of tearing and that is distracting as hell. Now, if you got an NVIDIA card, there are tons of C, uh, free sync monitors out there. Um, the good thing about free sync is that it's a free add-on. 
Uh, there's no cost to the manufacturer, and that cost doesn't get passed down to the consumer. So it's a, more or less a free technology that stops this tearing. So a lot of monitors have that. Now, the good news is, and I've seen this, and you may want to test this yourself, is that um, if you pick up a FreeSync monitor, and even though you have an NVIDIA graphics card, it will still work, but what it does, it switches into adaptive sync mode. So it creates, it uses the Visa standard of, uh, of, uh, of the stopping to tear. Now, I don't want to say that it'll, it works 100% or it doesn't work or somewhat works. I don't know, but I do know that the option is available for you. Is How good is it? I, again, I don't know. You may have to do some testing yourself. Again, go to a store that will demonstrate this for you so you, you can see it for yourself. You don't want to plunk down a lot of money for a, for a monitor and realize that it's not going to work for you. Now, if you have a lot more money to spend, uh, the NVIDIA G-Sync monitors do offer do are available, but they are at a premium. The reason why is, don't know, NVIDIA likes to charge extra for everything. So if you have you know a 1080 Ti or a really hot card, I recommend you get a G-Sync monitor. They are more expensive. I'm not gonna lie about that. They are more expensive, but save up a little bit of extra cash and you will get the full G-Sync. And again, tearing will be completely and utterly gone. Um, so that's the thing that you should look for. It's so, okay, let's let's review this, okay? And this has been all, I'm, I'm not saying anything new here. I'm just saying, just, just check it out for yourself first. Talk to the computer people. Like I do that. I, I demo stuff all the time for people so they can understand what they see. Because me talking to you, <clears throat> either you think I'm bullshitting, which I'm usually, I'm never. Second, uh, you don't understand it because I may be, you know, talking a lot of techno babble stuff, which tends to happen. So what you want to do is just say, can I see it for myself? And I will demonstrate it for you and you can make the decision afterwards. I'm just here to, f to help you out and facilitate your purchases. That's it. I don't want to upsell you on anything. I want to just show you what you need or what it is that you that you want to get and see if it's right for you. And then you make your own decision. So one millisecond, you want to get 144 hertz. Forget about the 75 hertz. Just go straight to 144 hertz. Or even if you got that extra cash, there's 240 or 260. I think it's 260. So you can go to 260, and that's even better than 144. And oh, and I have to explain all this. The majority, actually, all of the time for 144 hertz and higher, you have to use DisplayPort as your connector for the monitor and the uh, and the computer it will not work for hdmi hdmi maxes out at 120 hertz if you want the full 144 you got to go display port okay remember that um so okay one millisecond uh one uh low uh, uh low uh what's it called input lag 144 hertz and the screen tearing thing which is free sync or g-sync so FreeSync is from AMD, and G-Sync uh, is for uh, NVIDIA cards only. NVIDIA, uh, the G-Sync monitor will only work with NVIDIA cards. And then the FreeSync uh, monitors will work with AMD and also with NVIDIA, excuse me, using adaptive, uh, adaptive sync. So that's the thing to look for. Now, we sell a monitor, an AOC, I think it's a rough, it's a 25 inch monitor uh sort of uh, flat, flat screen um uh, which is going for 299 144 hertz one millisecond like all those checkoff boxes with FreeSync for 300 dollars. now the one thing about it is now just to give you another thing about the monitors there's three types of led screens okay <laughs> here we go confusing the matter more uh there's rn which is the, the lowest cost uh type of monitor but it has some drawbacks va Again, which is the middle of the road monitor, which has half decent blacks and uh, half decent color. And then you get the IPS, which is the IPS is the full blown, great colors, great everything, uh, good blacks, but it is more expensive. 
and right as right now there is no monitor no ips monitor that will do 100 percent one millisecond gray to gray but supposedly i heard a little birdie tell me that some company that is pretty famous that makes tvs too are working on one right now again shh, can't say anything because i'm on nda but there's something that's coming out that way now the rn monitors have bad here let's go off axis viewing who cares honestly who cares if you're sitting in front of your t this is what you're doing you're looking here that's all you're doing you're not playing your games like this or like this so the off axis color who cares it doesn't matter you're just staying in front of your monitor now va the, the viewing angle is a little bit better, actually a, a lot better than RN, but it is more expensive. So it gives you darker, uh, darker blacks and the colors are just as good as RN or a little bit better. And then the IPS is more uh, better than everything else. So getting an IPS gaming monitor, you're looking over a thousand dollars, plain and simple. It'll be G-Sync. 165 or actually yeah so there's 100, 144 165 and 2 240 so anything in that range i think will be the best bet if you got the money by all means don't walk run to the store go pick one up you will have the best gaming experience the best throw out that 60 hertz monitor use that monitor as a secondary monitor for you know if you want to do word or you want to work on something or excel or email just keep it as that Get your gaming monitor, uh, at the good gaming monitor as your primary screen. So those are the three the three types. Now to give you an example, I am using an MSI. <clears throat> actually, I bought an MSI G twenty seven C two, if I'm not mistaken, and that's a twenty seven inch curved screen. Now, Samsung and MSI are the only two, I think in the range of 24 and 27 inch monitors that are curved lg does 34 inch ultra what ultra wide screen uh that are curved so is samsung uh but <clears throat> but usually the uh the white the curved screens usually come as um as those bigger sizes because it makes a lot more sense and plus it sort of gives your eye a better chance to, to focus on things on the curved. Now, a 24 inch monitor curved, I it's to uh, honestly me, it's too small. But the good thing about it is because the cur it curves towards you, the immersiveness of the game is a lot better. There's less eye strain uh, because it sort of curves around your eyes type of thing. So there's less eye strain when you look in the corners and stuff like that. Also when when you go to like this 27 inch which is curved again i enjoy it the immersiveness is there for playing games you get pulled right into it but also it's easier on the eyes but it's up to you some people love the curve some people hate the curve so it's up to you what you want to do take a look at what the stores have you know sometimes they have demos with games on it so you can sit down and see how it looks on a curved monitor on a straight monitor and make your decision there always do your homework okay and not just do homework on the internet go out and see this stuff that that's the most important thing reading about it at ad nauseum look the internet is half truths take whatever you learned about one product cut it in half throw the 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 lies out take that truth part the smaller part cut it again take the untruth out of that one and what you get is that right that's what's true but the, to fill in those gaps, you need to go out and see this for yourself. So I recommend to everybody, go to your favorite computer store, make sure they have all this on demo, and see it for yourself. Go check out the monitor. Tell them to show you how 144 hertz uh, looks like to, uh, to, uh, to versus 60 hertz. Play a game on it. See if you like it or not. Do you like curve? Do you like an IPS monitor? Do you like, you know, do you like uh, a VA monitor? Whatever. Just check all these stuff out. Yes, there's a lot of check boxes that you need to know about monitors, but once you got it dialed in, it's amazing. Okay? Now, this the 27-inch MSI monitor that I have here uh, is one millisecond, low input, uh, blah, blah, uh, 144 hertz, and it's a FreeSync monitor. Good thing about the FreeSync part, I do have an RX 570 in there. So 
there's no tearing, no nothing, and I'm truly enjoying this monitor. I never knew how much better gaming was going from a 60 hertz monitor to a 144 hertz monitor. I tell you, it's day and night, day and night. So save those pennies out there, kids. You're gonna really enjoy getting a good monitor and you'll be happier for it. Yeah, I mean, you truly enjoy gaming again. Oh, excuse me, just what's going on with me today? Blah. Anyway. Um, that's about it. So this is this is episode thirteen uh, for season one for uh, for uh, for Z Tech News. Again, I'm Johnny Z, and uh, thanks for checking this out. Take care. <laughs>